Hey YouTube, it's Q's for question here. I'm bringing a first five minutes of Ghost Recon Online. This is a free downloadable game. You can, um, it's currently in beta, open beta right now. So you can go and check it out. It's only about two, three gigs, two and a half gigs to download. And so, um, that's pretty nice like that. I have here message an unread message okay cool all right so when you start the game this is what the screen you get other than you will make your character's name um I've been playing a little bit already and uh, here we have all of our stuff all of our guys you can play as the recon which has the oracle. It um gives away locations of people even when they're invisible. So like other recons, if they have the cloak, you will be able to see them. Although this has a limited duration, but you can use it as many times as you can as long as you have the uh, you have a high enough uh, charge on it. Uh, they have sniper rifles and light uh, arsenal, but um, the fact that they can sneak around is a good thing. You have the Assault, which is your heaviest unit, also with the most health. Recon has the least. Um, this is more of all Assault weapon. Blitz is a combat shielding, which you take off your back, and you can knock down opponents, cause lots of damage to them. Heat, it, um, you send out a beam of basically radiation, and what it causes is your enemies to um, feel the heat, as in they cannot shoot, or they're very limited in shooting, and they, they, their aiming gets messed up. So basically it's a great way to get them pinned down, locked up, and have your guys flank and take them out. Um, then you have specialists, and they have uh, the Aegis ability, which causes, um, just basically it's a shielding, protects from uh, bullets and other projectiles, but if a grenade comes inside, you're pretty much screwed. Um, and Blackout is a um, device that is similar to, you know, in the way, the heat where it disrupts the person, but it's a it's a radius. So if you get this guy in a huge group or get him behind and hit him all at once, you can take him out pretty easily. He has a, a light machine gun, and he can also have the shotgun, uh, several assault weapons. So it, assault and specialists are pretty close together, but uh, assault has a lot more. There's a lot more head-on, and uh, specialist is a lot more uh, sneaking around. More, more combination between the two assault and recon. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in as my specialist. Um, and the nice thing about this game is they do try to make you play um all the different uh, uh classes because uh, when you start, you start at level one, right? But then as you go up, you can only go up to level 5 before you get automatically put into the normal arena, not the beginner's arena. So it's a good idea um, to switch between to get the most experience so you're not stuck with a really low level uh, character that has no capabilities, none of the power-ups. You have to be level 2 to get any of those devices. So anyway, um, I'm just going to show you a quick match here. I'm going to matchmaking. Like I said, you can you can say beginners only, or you can go to all players. That one's a little bit harder. Um, but here we go. Um, there's a firing range, which is nice. You can come in and just open up. You'll notice as you move, the um, the reticles come down, and so your your aiming gets a lot harder. It's a lot harder to aim when it's out, or at least it's more spread. But when it comes in. You're right on the money. And that, this applies for all the weapons. So your snipers, same thing. And, um, here I could probably... Yeah, I could hit him. I, I've been sniping with this gun, it's, it's pretty sweet like that. So anyway, I can show you, you hit once, and if you do it too much, you notice this overcharge. Wait, 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 wait. So, I would sh uh, should have showed you what uh, I was going to show you what would happen. 
But um, what basically happens is your entire screen goes shocked, and um, you're, you have some trouble seeing. That was my fault. Sorry. Um, one thing about this is you cannot switch class after you've joined a uh, game. So be careful about which one you choose. If you notice, there's a lot of recon or assault. Good idea to be a, a specialist. Balanced team usually wins. So anyway, here we go. Just show you a little bit of this, and then um, you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. I think it's um, one of the best tactical first-person, well, third-person shooters. It, it, it switches, so I mean, I don't even know what it's called. I'll have to look that up, but um, it's, it's the best one I've seen. And it's completely free too, which is really sweet. Um, right now I have it on um, very low graphics, and I have absolutely no trouble playing the game. Um, I think part of it is that, uh, in, at least for Planet Side 2 is what I'm going to compare it to, is that it's so open world that you constantly have to load it, but this one isn't so bad. Okay, so you start spawn behind. You have to, this one is you're capturing several points. Um, big thing in this game is cover. So if you space before you hit a wall or something, you can slide into cover. You can also slide under bullets too. If you hit C, you sort of slide underneath. That's a great way to you know get underneath someone's bullets. Um, control, left control, is to um, uh, go prone, which is great, because if you drop, you're going to notice that there's, there might be a little, you know, there's a little time to ready your weapon, as in with all Ghost Recon games. But, um, this one's nice, because it, it's very, it's very sleek, it's very, um, uh, well-polished game. Um, and C is the crown, which, as you might figure out. Notice on the right, when I, when I, when I, go back and forth if it lets me. Um, it will show you the bonuses that you get from being in cover. So on some weapons it'll actually get degraded by what attachments you put on. So it's a lot of things to take in consideration. Notice I am now healing. Um, if you... I'm gonna do this. Go ahead. If you um, stay in cover long enough you will um, start regenerating. So I kill myself. Oh well. Um, <laughs> it, I think it does cause a little bit of damage. And here you can equip whatever you need. Um, I got the blackout. And um, yeah, so that's a little bit of that. Uh, notice now my charge is all the way down. Um, unlike most games where you revive and you get your full capabilities back, in this game, if you revive and um, you were, or respawn, I should say, and, um, I got hit on, but, um, if you respawn, and you already use your power, it's, oh, I did hit him, you respawn, you already use your power, it's already down, so you have to be, you have to be very careful about what you're doing in this game, you have to be, um, aware of what you're doing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, um, I know it was a little bit more than five minutes, but it's a lot to take in, um, it's a it's a pretty fun game. I mean, it's free and it, it is pretty small maps, but they're they're a lot of fun. I think um, it, it brings a lot of competitiveness out out of people. Um, so there, I got a headshot even with this gun. And the nice thing is that I know that sniper only really has um, hundred health, so I can, if I hit him three times headshot, he's gonna be dead. With almost any gun. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I would like to know if you guys um, want a series out of this. Just um, a little showcase every week or something like that. Um, every so often. I wouldn't be able to do it all the time. But um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you around.